Mr. Patrick Nixon. Arctic Stadium, please welcome your teams. It's the nuts and bolts and the billows. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Stanley was going to be on the bench. And, uh, what I saw of him Wednesday afternoon. Oh, my God. 
Hi right, Kev, uh, disappointing 2-0 uh, defeat, uh, one penalty and a free kick in the first half, second half 0-0. Well, what did you take from the game? Yeah, I, look, I think you're right. You could look at the game and you could say, um, yeah, penalty we've given away in, in, in a free kick is uh, the difference in the game. I think it was more than that, if I'm honest. So I'm not going to stand there and say it was just that. I thought um, they were the better team. I don't think we had a shot on target. Um all game, and unless you threaten their goal, it will be quite comfortable for them. Um, no, it's disappointed that the, the disappointing the players are in there, and they're, they're, they're disappointed. Um, I thought the, the couldn't get to grips with the game in the first half. Second half, we, we started okay, and we had more possession. But then, with that possession, was we a threat? Not really. Um, and there's two ways of looking at. It, I think if you're their management team, you say that's because they were set up really well defensively and, and defended well um, but obviously we're our management team so for us it's about problem solving and and trying to create those opportunities and we didn't do that well enough so we didn't use possession yeah well, um, I suppose Noah wasn't playing was he injured he's injured oh yeah. uh, okay yeah so that, that makes a lot of sense I mean they got some really good players out there but they didn't really turn it on today and didn't need to, I suppose. No, maybe not. Look, if they've gone 2 0 up at half time, maybe it's about managing the game for them. Yeah. Um, I wouldn't know. I'm not, not sitting in their, their camp just trying to focus on, on us and, and what we need to do better. But um, there was just um, was a lot of errors and, and sloppiness and um, not much dynamic movement today, really. Mm. Um, and yeah, it was it was probably quite quite comfortable for them. I don't, I don't think they created an abundance of opportunities, but they got in some some good positions, um, and we got in some okay positions at times, and then just nothing came from it. Yeah. So we got um, training on Tuesday, training on Thursday, I assume, and then Beckenham next Saturday. That's almost become a must win. Yeah, I think all games feel like that at the moment, don't they? We've got we're on another negative run, and and we feel like we need to stop the rot again. Yeah. Um, and we we got to that point, didn't we, where we was halfway through, and there's time left. If we, if we don't do it soon, time will run out at some point. So we we do need to to change the results and and get some wins because teams around us will win, and then you can slip further down the table, and then the the reality of getting anywhere near achieving something um, respectable this season tails off. Yeah. Uh, just before I let you go, just a quick word about Ryle, who's, who has left the club. Um, we all respected Ryle for coming back from that horrific injury he had a couple of years ago, worked so hard to get back, always gave 100%. It's quite a sad day, really, that he's, he's uh, decided to go. Yeah, it, it is. Look, Ryle was travelling a long way. Yeah. Um, and he hasn't been selected recently um, and look again like, like I've said I think he's a smashing guy and I, I think he, he gives his all um, so we wish him well in his next steps and what, what he goes on to um, we'll um, we maybe have a few new faces in the camp by, by next week 
Um, that's not a promise. There's still <laughs> okay. a lot goes into that to make it happen. Yeah. Um, but but we'll try and do that to again freshen things up because obviously we've we've um, had two players and, and we parted ways or gone separate ways with two players this week. So it does give them an opportunity to bring some others into the into the mix. Okay. Well, be- best of luck. Go again next Saturday. Um, let's hope hope we can score a few goals next Saturday. Yeah, and look, thank you to those that travelled. Obviously, that the, they've had to travel. Um, it's not too bad a journey. No. It's a considerable distance today. And I, I don't think we've we've put on a show necessarily for for those watching. Um, so so apologies for that. But look, we need to get back to to work and winning ways. Um, and not all credit to Grey Valley. It was, it was a comprehensive performance by them. Like you said, they've got a talented squad. And they are where they are in the league and on that run for a reason. And I think that showed today. Yeah. Okay. Safe journey home. Yeah. Cheers. Thank you.